right, well, I suppose I better give you this guided tour then. Um, yeah. I'll do a proper intro. I got General Von Doom with me in the chat, and Hello. and I've got Bench here today. Hello. Uh, and he's riding the Oracle. Oh. Oh. Now that's awesome. Ooh. <laughs> Do you know what? I had an idea to make a ship a little bit like this after seeing Heavy Metal 2000. But just yeah. that front disc bit, you know? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But whoa, I love the logic that you've done. It really does mm. look like it's spinning. Uh, I had to add some extra shield generators in the back, so it's got like this warp drivey thing underneath with these hazard tape stuff. I mean, like some shield. Oh like yeah. Some shield. There's, there's a couple of little logic things in here, like the the hangar auto locks itself when the person docks in, and um, you've got like a, a lockdown mode where I can lock all the lights down and um. I'll, like blast doors for the um deck hangar cockpit as well um so you can like travel with a radar jammer on and turn all the lights off so it's not quite stealth but it kind of pretends to be stealth hmm nice and that's the interior beautiful well, let's have a little look around, I guess. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, this is version 26 of the Migraine Trigger Mark 30, which mm -hmm. is a prototyping name, <laughs> in case you hadn't guessed. <laughs> and um, it's a sort of beautiful mold of uh, the... I've uh, grabbed the little ship to have a look at. Oh, okay, yeah, nice. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. I'll come around the back and meet you. I'm just in my core. In fact, I feel like I should get something better than this. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so I've got you on the surfboard. Let's get on with this tour. This will be fun, actually. Right. Oh, please scream if you fall off the board. Okay. So, first thing is... These are all of the docking boy points for... Uh, nice. And it's like Velcro, so obviously you just pick one where your core is underneath and then it'll, pick a, it'll dock any ship, you know? Yeah. You just sort of choose one which is roughly positioned where you where it should be, um, and then these are quite interesting actually. This here is a these are logic points for gravity. Mm -hmm. um, what happens is you walk into the side you want, and then you'll fall that way, basically. Oh, and, cool. And so so it's like a way to get from one end to the other really fast after getting out of your ship. Yeah. Um, so they work effectively like a fireman's pole, you know, because mm -hmm. you'll just fall. And if you went, if you fell down to the tail end, where we'll go now, there's actually a wall down here. I haven't done the comm tower yet, um, but there's a wall down here. And if you land on that wall, it just punts you straight back. Mm -hmm. um, but if you go through the door, it puts you into normal gravity. Because my plan is to have like an engine room back here, you know, just decorative. Mm -hmm. um, the con towers inspired by some of the builds I did, like the Peace Liner and uh, the couple of other ones that had con towers, basically. <laughs> um, and obviously, this thing docks ships top and bottom. Uh, there's turrets on the sides. They're a little bit too big, to be honest. Um, but I wanted to make them like hex nuts, you know? Yeah. Um, because they don't, doesn't matter which way round they're facing, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. they, they always look about right. <laughs> um, like I said, they should be a lot smaller. <laughs> but, um, the back one is a missile, let's see, missile, beam, and explosive. Mm -hmm. Uh, the middle one here is a beam beam and stop I think mm -hmm. and then the front one is beam beam ion so they're nice. all they're all long range but they kind of had to be because with it being 2000 meters long the maximum range of a turret at the middle is the front of the ship 
<laughs> so then if you if we have a limit of 24 docked entities on the server so with that in mind i've used 12 of my 24 with these six on top and bottom yeah so it's sort of like where do you put them so i figure my computers for my weapon systems are probably going to be in here in the comm tower rather than in the yeah. uh, thing or for role play for role play you know so yeah. like so i figured that the turrets should really be defending that the crew that's fighting you know and some of the runways you know and then the the, the, the actual canopy can just take it <laughs> you know it can just take it basically <laughs> Because the AI is going to go for the core, which is obviously up here. Oh, that's the Eye of Star Made by General Von yep. Doom. Nice. I love that. That's the back. Here's the front. It's a really quite an interesting little thing. You threw it together, literally. It's funny. Right. When people land at this end in the gravity, they kind of land on this lip here. And then yeah. if you walk through the red bit, it puts you in the right gravity. Oh, cool. And then this is my copy pasta forest, <laughs> which I made. And I've got like, this was inspired by, you know, the um, Star Wars 6, those yeah, platforms yeah. that they land on. Yeah, I, the, the, it was um, the, the Wookiees, yeah. not the Wookiees, yeah. the, the, the Ewoks. Endor, Endor. 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 Yeah, Endor. yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. I love it. But yeah, it's just like... I know, just go through all the planets, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's um, that's basically the uh, that's that docking area. I just wanted to make this sort of like for messengers and couriers. Yeah. You know, people that come in small ships that only stay for a little while, and then back through here we have the VIP docking for people like us. So, for example, surfboard parking. There we go. Uh, and like so then that that there is that's basically where ships like this and mobius chairs and all that sort of stuff goes yeah. so undocking um these doors are pretty fun oh let's do a test here we can dream right yeah access to knives structure belongs to another faction Oh really? Is that what it said? Yeah, that's what it says on mine. No way! Hang on, I got a faction block on this ship. You do. Enter faction and... No, nope. still not doing it. Oh wait, has the server crashed? <laughs> I'm flying back. So... Probably. Yeah, server doesn't answer. Oh. Oh, and yeah, we're back. Oh, right, let's oh, try it. Let's try it again. Nah. All right, I'll just... Yeah, I'll just jump off and do it. Right, okay, so here we go. What we've got is... We've got... Doors over... Yeah, the main door. <laughs> mm -hmm. The next set of doors. And the little door underneath. That no one ever notices. And then obviously there's this purple one is the actual uh, main canopy hanger. Uh -huh. And I set it up so that if you push this one, it'll turn them all away a minute. It's because it was already off. There you go. It'll trigger them all. But some of them are inverted. Do you know what I mean? So it actually leaves the hanger open. I mean closed. So it'll open all the doors, but it doesn't vent atmosphere everywhere. <laughs> mm. You know, that's always an important thing, not venting atmosphere everywhere. So that works quite nicely, and like I tidied up the um, the logics all behind it, but you can't see any of it because mm. all the decorative stuff. I mean, look, like if someone yeah. in mine, if you were to say, "Hey guys, Minecraft, see this? This here controls like all the doors in front of this <laughs> on separate circuits and all at once." And also a giant hangar door that goes over the top of the entire place. And and it only takes up this space. All of it is yeah. in there. And just be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. And then obviously I've got my... Uh, for science, we're rese researching the effects of Y-holes. So mm. this is a military-grade Y-hole farm. 
um, like I say, for, for, for research into, the, into that. Um, and then pretty much all of this I'd already done, you know? Yeah. I really like the ribbing though on the inside. That's oh really yeah, nice. I do like that. It's a nice little effect, but that's symmetry, man. I can't take credit mm. for symmetry. So then, anyway, we go through, and this is the main hall which I've been working on for the last couple of days. Mm. And uh, I wanted to have that sort of energy uh, field sort of array uh. coming down the sides, and it is logicked, you know. If you turn that on, it all blinks in sequence, you know. Cool. Um, well, I think I broke the clock though, because there was some weird. <laughs> we're having some weird era issues. But funnily enough, this thing here is what I really enjoy the most. This thing right in front of us, the red wall. Yeah. That red, yeah, because of the way. I mean, I don't know what it looks like for you, but on Pixel, it, it kind of had that has this weird, really bright to shadow to bright to shadow, effect. Yeah, it does have a bit of that as well. Here. <laughs> and all that is is round the back. Here's the lights, see? Yeah. That's all it was. Just a bit of negative space with some backlighting. But obviously this is my cinema screen. And, mm, I, yeah, nice. and it's it's actually really cool because when you uh, chroma it out, um, you still get the texture in the shadow, like the lines mm -hmm. between the blocks. So it's really does does look like a little like a screen version, you know. <laughs> like there's an effect on it. And so, yeah, this was the main room. Obviously, that's the core. And there is a lot of hardened hole there. Yeah. And I tried to make it like a cube, but that covered the angles, but without just basically being a cube, so. Oh, yeah, there's the logic. Shall we? Why not? Let's see if it works. Because I bet the clock... Come on, logic. Yeah, the clock's broken, but I can turn it on and off, because the clock comes in there, basically. As you can see, it's it's all turning off and turning on, nice. pretty much. That's all it does, and then obviously every single tick makes it turn on and off. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Right, and then this is the stuff I've been doing today. So today, huh? Let's go. Oh God, surfboard's a little bit big. Okay. Oh nice, no, it did well. So Ooh, look. I like this. Yeah, man. <laughs> I love those clouds. Mate, copy paste, right? Do you know what I did? I made, oh. see this cloud here, this yeah. one in front of us. I made that, copy pasted that, yeah? yeah. Pasted it around everywhere, and then I layered them up in in different ways. So they oh, look nice. so they look different, but actually they were all the same cloud. <laughs> So it gives it a sort of uniform look to it. Um, obviously on the right we have the ship, <laughs> you know, and then on the left we have, those are the power systems. They're, wow. Those are like rows of power and shields and, you know. And uh, like I say, so I made the desert. And I did actually make the, what, the uh, purple biome as well. But the purple biome went a bit wrong. Um, yeah. Yeah, because there was a bit of a server crash and all of the really cool copy pasta stuff I did in there is gone. Oh. Yeah, I know. But basically I copied this purple thing here in front of us mm -hmm. and then I built it up a bit like how I've made these things. I was trying I was trying to make purple stuff and I couldn't do it. <laughs> it was so hard. You know the purple growths. It, it was really hard to do, but um, but yeah. So that's the purple, and there is actually one last thing which I did today, and I'm starting to think that we ain't going to be able to fly down this because uh, it's not. Wait, let's try it. Uh oh. Uh, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, hey. Hey. I think I think I can do it. Oh God. I'm a real boy. Yes. I'm a real boy. Ah. Oh. There we go. Damn. <laughs> oh no, it's okay because this is the. Uh, here we go. Right, this is the uh, parkour room, or what yeah. will become it. 
Um, there's going to be... Yeah, we're good. All right, there's going to be a, a vault at mm -hmm. this end, which will only be, you know, you won't be able to get into it by doing the stuff, I hope. <laughs> or being me in a core, of course. <laughs> um, and yeah, like I say, it's just like I was thinking portal when I was making the room. Um, only the difference is there is a Fibonacci mushroom on the roof. Hang on, let me just see if I can get the angle right. Let's turn it around. So that's symmetry plus a Fibonacci sequence. <laughs> and if you look at it, if you look up, yeah, you can. I can. I. You see what you want to see, I guess. But I can see a mushroom, <laughs> 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 which is funny. And, uh, and stuff. But that, that's, that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, cool. Now, how the hell do I get out? <laughs> uh, well. Yeah, like, it's not easy to get out from here. It's basically back up the tunnel. Or maybe I might be able to... Yeah. Huh. Let's sneak through my negative shelling. Huh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's okay. I made it. I think I made it. I'm we're like, fine, a, I made it. I made it. Oh, yes. Nice. Right, so out through the VIP area. Oh boy, I'm upside down, aren't I? Oh, oh, oh. oh no. I'm out. You still in? No, you're way down there. I crashed it pretty Hello. hard, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Allow me to give you a lift. Thank you. So yeah, Fun. that's so that's that's the ship. Um, and here is yours. Boom. So thanks very much for coming along for the tour. Thank you. Grand deal for. Thank you for the tour. No problem.